All right, this next beer is a special one. It is Michelob Amberbach. It's a beer that I very much enjoyed way back when uh, in my early 20s, and I have not seen it in my area for a few years here in South Carolina. This one was brought back to me from North Carolina from a total wine up there, and I'm just super excited because I honestly thought they had, like, discontinued this one or something. You know... Everyone's always drinking the shitty ass Michelob Ultra, which tastes, it's like the most water flavored beer I've had. Um, but this one is, is how I remember, it does not taste like water. Um, to go with the theme of when I last probably was drinking these, I have a, a picture I found recently of like a mid 2000s Taco Bell menu. Because, I mean, uh, Taco Bell, McDonald's, Jimmy John's, Hungry Howie's, those type of things were great cheap munchies back in the day after a night of drinking. I mean, look at this. You know, Crunchy Taco, 79 cents. Soft Taco, 79 cents. Bean Burrito, 79 cents. I mean, it, it, it was truly a great time. Okay. Anyways, let's get down to it, shall we? Michelob Amberbach. Very excited. All right, a bit of smoke there. This is a twist off camp. Don't actually need to pry it off. Also, it's in a bottle. You don't see a lot of stuff in bottles now. So, there it is. It looks in the good light. I don't know, almost like a, like a darker root beer or something. A little bit of a tan head there on the nose. Kind of just smells like like a, like a brown ale or something like that. All right, and this is listed as a dark lager, so let's do it. It's definitely got a very light, thin, watery kind of mouthfeel to it. I remember or I, what I thought back in the day, and maybe I'll think this after a, a few more bottles, but I almost remember it having kind of a gritty kind of flavor to it. Not in a bad way, but... <sighs> Hold on, I actually have the box over here. Beautiful packaging, by the way. So, according to them, this American box style features three unique malts that creates a beer with a rich brown color with aroma notes of noble hops, caramel, red fruit, and spice. This taste is slightly sweet, malty, nutty, with a fine balanced bitterness. That is according to to the fine people over at Anheuser-Busch. It's definitely a good beer. I think in my head, I had hyped it up a little more. Um, than what I'm actually getting here. So that's a little disappointing. Again, you know, sometimes... A few sips of these on camera is a different opinion than after I've got a couple bottles in me, you know? So, I'm 
yeah, it, it doesn't, I don't know. I, I think I was just expecting a little more of an intense flavor. But yeah, kind of a chocolatey, coffee, nutty type thing going on with it. Um, I like it. I don't think I would exactly like break my neck trying to get more of it though. Dang, what do I get? What do I give this? I wish I had a Michelob, or not a Michelob, sorry. I wish I had the um, Modelo Negra to compare it right now. Because that's a good one. Man, I don't know. I, th I think I'm going to give it a four out of five. I like dark beers. And, and it's good. They're not like half-assing it. I think I was just, I'm a little disappointed. I was expecting a richer flavor. So, yeah, that's it. <sighs> yeah. Kind of a nutty, chocolatey coffee-ish flavor. Very light. Not bad. Not knocking my socks off. Michelob Amberbach gets a four out of five.